Hello, everybody. I'm sorry. Uh, Y'all had posted earlier today thinking that today was Tuesday. I didn't know today was Wednesday. That lets you know my mind is elsewhere. And I apologize. I really do. Uh, For now, home, I will please keep up with the days. Uh, So I'm going to go back. It's a good thing, though, I did post that post uh, uh, about Tuesday. But let's talk about today. We're going to talk about Wednesday relationships. We can. I'm going to start out with talking about it can be gay relationships, uh, straight relationship. It doesn't matter because a relationship is a relationship. Uh, and it goes like when you're in a relationship. And your man, and you love your man, you love your man hard, and you love your man to the end, to the end, and you don't know if he being faithful or not, or if you don't know he being honest or not, and they just talk about about your man uh, having uh, relations with your friend. And you have no idea. And then your friend do some slick stuff to, uh, excuse me, y'all, because I'm using, I'm on my laptop today. And I'm moving around because it's uh, charging. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, because she tried to do some evil stuff to get back at you, not realizing that what he did for you. He might not do for her. A lot of people don't understand that. I don't think they look at is that what they can get out that man and what uh, he done for you. Like, uh, say for instance, if he buy you a Mercedes or he buy you a Lexus or he buy you uh, anything or he pay your rent and you don't have to pay your money. You know what I'm saying? That's what they be looking at. But I'm here to tell you, Boo Boo Kitty, that's not how it got. You understand what I'm saying? A man know what he's looking for in, in a woman. He he don't want nothing. Um, he don't want nothing. I'm gonna say disgusting. He he don't want nothing disgusting. He don't want nothing disrespectful and he don't want nothing ghetto. He wants something that he can take home to mama and be proud to take home to mama. Really, a man is more in touch with the mother than they is with the father. And I'm going to break it down to you because when it comes to my mama, if a man disrespects her, I have a problem. Not only did I have a problem, me and that man have a problem. You feel me? Matter of fact, y'all, hold on just one minute. Yes, I'm back. Thank you. So disrespect is a bad thing when it comes to a woman with me. If I see a woman out there, like at the store, the grocery store, and a man disrespecting her, I just be like, well, man, why is you disrespecting her? Because of the simple fact, I feel like this. If you don't want to be with that woman, well, then you don't have to. I know you you going out there cheating on that woman, doing this to that woman, doing that to that woman. Just leave her alone and go on about your business. Because at the end of the day, she going to be fine. God brought her in this world by herself and God going to take her out this world by herself. I tell my friends and everybody that I know that all the time. You didn't come in here in this world with him and you're not going to leave with him. And I'm pretty sure you're not the only one that he's messing with. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I be sitting there saying when they, when these, uh, when my homosexual friends be telling me, oh, but girl, he loved me. Girl, he loved me this. He, no, girl, he don't love you. He love what you do for him. 
He loved your money. He loved your pockets. Because your pockets is long. But as soon as your pockets is gone, he gone. You know, he want to tear up your car. He, I mean, I mean, he can spot you a mile away. You know, you can see him coming, but you, but you can't see him coming because the only thing you looking at is one thing. And I'm here to tell y'all that you need to not look for more than one thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gets lonely. Everybody is lonely. Hey, I'm in a hospital bed. Uh, I'm paralyzed. I'm lonely. I'm talking to somebody, but when, I, when we first started talking, because one of my friends introduced us, I told him, look, boo, I'm going to go and work it out and tell you. I'm not going through what I went through with my ex. I'm not doing it. So if you want to do something on the side, or whatever you want to do, hey, I'm I'm with that. You gonna do that because I'm not gonna do it because at the end of the day, I can still talk to you and not be bald. I can still talk to you and wait for somebody to come around that I know that's gonna be there for me and that's gonna be good for me and that's gonna appreciate my self worth. Because at the end of the day, my self worth is better in, 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 in anything. I'm not going to sabotage no character or my self worth. I see a lot of women, you know, walking down the street. They looking like how they looking, but they mean wearing three and four hundred dollar Jordans, uh, two, uh, two and three hundred dollar, uh, uh, you know, them, uh, necklaces. That uh, everybody wearing now, uh, diamond earrings in their ears, uh, but you ain't got no food in your refrigerator to feed your child. Come on now, give me, give me some, give me some, just give me some. I wait. Because I ain't never knew nobody to do nothing like that. Because everybody that I know or everybody that I do know, they make sure they had a roof over their head, food on the table, and make sure their kids was well dressed. So that's why I I, I mean, as I look on TV or these YouTube channels, I don't understand some of these people or what they doing with their money or what they doing with their life, period. I mean, I look at it and say, and I shake my head, I'm going to pray for them. And then, let's get on these men. Like, I want to talk about, I'll be watching this show, and uh, she divorced her husband for cheating. Baby, he don't. She don't came up not being bothered. He drags her name all all which way but the right way because she don't want to be with you. And I be asking myself, what do they do that? Is? Why you just came to say what you did? It goes back like I was telling y'all last week. Excuse me, and a couple of days ago, why you can't say what you did and take responsibility for what you did and go on and live your life. And just y'all um share custody of your children. Because at the end of the day, after y'all not together anymore, the only thing really matters is the children. That's the only thing that matters is the kids. That's the only thing that matters. Nothing else matters. Nothing else really matters. That's why I say my heart 
and everything goes out to my sister. And and my mama because I guess it was hard. I mean, it's hard raising children. You know, especially it's hard raising boys, period. So, I mean, I I under, I guess I, I can't say I understand, but I can say my heart goes out to them. So, you know, uh Hold on one minute, y'all. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm back. Uh, so, you know, that goes, you know, a relationship, uh, it don't matter if it's a, uh, a marriage relationship, a girlfriend, a boyfriend relationship, or a friend relationship. It takes, it takes trust. And I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and be on this YouTube and y'all support me and y'all watches my post and y'all like me and everything and hold on y'all that's my phone hey y'all I'm sorry that was my uh my gay child child it's hard being a parent so hard <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, let's back to this. So anyway, it don't matter if you're married. It don't matter if you're gay. It don't matter if you're straight. Any relationship, um, friendship, whatever, uh, takes trust. And like I was sitting there telling y'all before my phone started ringing, I'm not gonna sit here and be online and y'all supporting me. And I'm start. I'm just starting YouTube and uh. Y'all liking my posts and my views and all of that. And a lot of y'all. I'm not going to do that because y'all are my supporters. I do love talking to y'all. I'm not doing this for money. I'm not I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this because I like talking to y'all. And I like telling the stories of my life. So I'm going to say this. I don't trust nobody no more. And I'm just going to put it out there. You know, it's going to take a minute for me to go back to trust anyone. I don't trust nobody, you know, and I'm right now I'm going through a process where I'm asking God to help me get through this because after all that I had happened to me during my life and these past two years, I don't trust you. And I don't got nothing to do with no man because I get a man when I can't get nothing else. I ain't never had a problem getting no man. I ain't never had no problem having no men take care of me. So that's not the issue. Because I'm a very independent person. I don't need no men to do all of this. Most people do. But Luntrell doesn't. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I just don't I, don't. I don't trust people no more. You know, like when I was coming out being gay. I was meeting these people and the people that I did meet and were my friends, they passed on. Now, and, and what had happened to me now, they didn't do to me. My friends in Atlanta don't do to me. You know what I'm saying? So the friend that I did have, that I thought was a friend, that I thought was my sister, my brother, or whatever, or however you want to call it, was not that way. And it even came to a she was supposed to be my drag mom. No, it wasn't that way. Because you done me in. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? When a person have done you in and you you consider you consider them family, and then on top of that, she's met my aunt that passed away. She met my some of my family members. So I thought from that point that me and her were cool. But it came to reality, a reality check that we were. You know, I don't want to say we enemies. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to just say. I'm not going to say we culture. I'm going to say uh, if I heard somebody pass away that I don't know about or that I didn't I didn't know or it's one of my friends 
and they didn't have my number or, or anything like that. I, I call her up to see how is it true so I can send flowers or a card to their family like I thought, like I told y'all last week that I thought it was my other friend, but it wasn't. Uh, that, but other than that, me just sitting there, I kind of feel like when we was on the phone, I kind of feel awkward because it, me just sitting on the phone having a conversation with her, it just didn't feel comfortable. And then half of the time when I was sitting on the phone talking to my ex, I don't want to say at first it felt okay. But then it started to feel uncomfortable. I had thought, well, okay, well, let me get back with him. Since, you know, we were was in a relationship. So let, let's try to get back and work that out. Then I was trying to say, every time I would talk to him, it would be a one lie after another lie after another lie. Lies kept coming out. And I could always tell when he was lying. Uh, my mama always took up of him because she cared about him. She cared deeply about him. She still cared deeply about him. She still, my sister still cared deeply about him. They still love him. I don't, hey, I don't stop them from associating with him. I don't stop them from, uh, how you say this, talking to them. If if he come over here, if he was to come on my house to visit my mama, I wouldn't stop it. I ain't got nothing to say to him, but I wouldn't stop it. Now, like when I move back to Atlanta and I be with my new friend and I come down to visit my mom and uh I asked her this hypothetical question and she was like, No, I would just tell him now you can't come to open now because my and his new friend coming. And I and I told him, No, you don't have to do that. He, he can still come over. They ain't got nothing to do with it. There ain't going to be no drama. I said, because my new friend know how to be mature about the situation. It's about, it's all about maturity. That's one thing my mom and my aunt and my would taught me and my grandma. Maturity. You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't matter what age you is. You could be 68 60 or 70 years old and you still ain't mature. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's what it's about. I mean, I, like I said, I haven't talked to him. Last time I found out what I found out, how the, the mess was going back and forth, like I was telling y'all, was uh, the mess. And he called me and I said, <laughs> yeah, this is so funny. Uh, I said, hello. He said, yeah, uh, because he don't call me Lantria. He called me Montreal. And I said, yes. He said, Montreal, yeah. I said, I'm busy. Goodbye. I call you back. And I and you know what? It's funny because I never called them back. I never listen to what my mama and them be saying when they say, stop calling these people. You understand what I'm saying? I never do listen. And I, that's always been one of my problems. I don't listen. Because I be th I be thinking down and deep in my mind that they be trying to run my life, which they only be trying to protect me and tell me, uh, uh this person's not right. It's something not right with you, and I don't listen to that. Because if I would have listened, I probably wouldn't be in this predicament I'm in now. I probably be back. I probably be back home in Atlanta, living living my best life. I don't want to tell my sister to sit there. Well, girl, let's not find nobody else because we couldn't find nobody at the point. Don't just let her work so she can save her money and move. Wish she had stuff. Wish she did get approved for apartment. But my mama was saying she had no intentions of leaving. She got too comfortable. Me being crazy and stupid and not believing what they were saying. Now comes the reality check that God's putting in my brain. What they telling you are right. So you didn't you 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 wasn't you wasn't you you feeling comfortable because you didn't have to pay no rent. 
See, according to what you were paying me, and then according to what you would pay in a regular apartment, you couldn't avoid. Which that 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 kind of bothers me with people because I don't care. Like I said on my Tuesday post, I will do whatever I got to do to not be homeless to survive. Excuse my language. Ain't no way in heck that I'm going to be staying on no street. Especially in this day and age, me being gay. And especially, I'm not staying in no uh, shelter. Me being positive, staying in the shelters and they nasty. I would definitely end up in a hospital. I already got some I don't want to get rid of. I can't get rid of, excuse me. Why would I want to get some, catch some debt? I can't get rid of again. That's craziness. So, in that diversity situation, I'd be like, I I mean, it it comes a lot. It does. It comes a lot of ways, you know, that people don't. I mean, it comes to where now that I'm 48 years old, that I'm, I'm watching who's in my circle. I'm watching who I let in my circle. So, like, when people come around me, like, I just look at them like, okay. I don't really too much say nothing. And I got I got these two nice people that comes around me, my son and this other person. They they helps me a lot since I've been in in the hospital the or whatever, whatnot. And I do appreciate everything they do and I try to help my neighbor and our king. But just because of that, that doesn't mean I want to have them in my circle. That doesn't mean that's somebody that I will probably just go out and hang out with. That's what I'm saying. I don't think so. Mm-mm. Because look what I'm looking at from last year. Last year, I'm looking. No, I'm going to take it all the way back. From what I went through with this other person from then to now. Mm-mm. I don't live like certain people. I don't excuse me, act like certain people. My character's not bash. I don't bash my character. Meaning, uh, like if I'm out at a club and somebody come up to me and we start arguing, I'm not gonna do nobody. You don't put your hands on me. I'm not going to put my hands on you because you're not my mama or my daddy. That's number one. And number two, I'm, I just don't come out being messy like that. You understand what I'm saying? And then uh, number two, if, if I meet a guy or a dude or whoever, uh, I do tell them my secret. I tell them that I'm positive because I look at it. Either you're going to be with me or you're going to talk to me or you're not. But what I am not going to do is be the cause of you catching a, a disease that you can't get rid of. Like I did. I'm not going to be that cause. Now, I can't talk about anybody else. Excuse me. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I can't talk about anybody else, but I can't talk about me. I got morals in class by myself. And that's just not what I want to do. 
I have plans to all the way down to. I have an image on how my house should look. I have an image on when I step out that front door, how I should look. Rather, if my hair have grown, I don't walk outside with my hair nappy. It have to be done. It have to be braided or something kind of way. I have to have some kind of image. I can't go nowhere dirty. I can't, my shoes can't be dirty. Nothing in my personality can be dirty. And that's have happened recently. And that's why I say I can't, I can't deal. As some people say, no, I can't. I can't. Mm -mm. No. I can't, I won't, and I will not. So, you know, and another thing that I'm not going to do, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. That's why when she said what she said, I just said, oh, well, girl, you know, that was done back in the past. Let's put that past us and let it go. And that's what I did. And I said, oh, okay, somebody calling me. And I hung up the phone. Because what I'm not going to do is sit up here in this day and age where, where we in a pandemic and we got uh, kids getting shot up, killed in schools, elders getting shot up in grocery stores. Uh, you don't know if you're going to be able to walk down the street uh, and to make it back home to argue about, with you about some nonsense that happened that comes out to be your fault. Child, please. Girl, bye. No. No. Mm -mm. You can call me ghetto. You can call me stupid. You can call me retarded. You can call me whatever you want to call me. But what you're not going to call me is, is foolishness. You're not going to come with me with this foolishness. And this is foolishness to me. No. I have done a, a lot of things in my life. I have. I have done a lot of things in my life. I have basically from the age of 16 to all the way up in to my 40s until I got sick. I've always been a hustler. It's nothing that I had never not had or I had never not wanted. If a man couldn't get it to me, uh, I got it myself. Because number one, hey, I don't need, I don't need no man. What a man can do for me, I can do for myself. I tell all these. I, I, that's what I'm. That's why I'm making this YouTube channel for. To all these you, these young children, this that's coming out being gay. It don't matter if you come to be gay, trainee, or still. It doesn't matter. What somebody else do for you, you can do for yourself. Because what they do for you, trust me, they it, it, it's always something in return. Remember that. It's always something in return with them. That's why I, I, I just don't I don't understand people. I, I let it be. I let them do what they do and go on with their business. You know, because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to create a platform for myself. And my platform is YouTube. And maybe after I grow my channel, I grow, you know, Go to uh, 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 Instagram and start doing that. That TikTok stuff, I was looking at last night. I don't think that's something I'm interested in. I like watching it, but I'm not interested in it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to grow a platform for myself. I have goals. 
I've always wanted to do YouTube, but I've always been scared to do YouTube. I've always been, you know, scared to just stick myself out there and stick my nose out there. Oh, excuse me. But I was watching this this show. I go, uh, this new the news. This guy. That's why I told y'all to hold on. He was sitting there saying, "If you want some, go out there and get it. Never be scared. Just keep pushing. Don't. It don't matter how long does it take." It don't matter how long does it take you to get yourself out there. Because, you know, he produces music. And he said it, it takes a long time for you may, maybe to get paid for it or whatever. But it don't matter. But like I sit there and said, I, I enjoy doing this for fun. You know what I'm saying? I, I enjoy doing it. You know, so uh, with that, I, I just love it. I think it's great. I think it's fun. I think it's lovely. I think it's wonderful. You know, I, who knows? People might uh, get some out of my stories, and I can be able to post my uh, stories on national TV and be able to buy my mama. I would love to be able to buy my mama a house or buy my sister in my house. You know, that's something that I'd be love to be interested in. But anyway, to make a long story short, it's a lot. It's a lot going on out here in these streets. I was watching the news where uh, the girl, the woman that took both of her kids to school, they got they got shot and only one survived. I think they were saying the little boy survived. Uh, and the daughter passed away and they had her funeral today. Yeah, today. It's the 11 o'clock, 11.17. So, I, I kind of like I I like feeling sorry for the woman because I don't know what it's like to lose no children, but I'm pretty sure it's unbearable, you know, to lose a child. Whew. Uh, and you know what? My heart from feelings go out to that woman, from my family and me, and prayers go out. I really do. I, w I, I really I wish it was something that I could do to help you through this long journey and this process. But maybe, just maybe, if you need someone to talk to, you can always talk to my mom. She's a, she's a good talker and she's a mother and if she can maybe uh, help you through the situation. You know what I'm saying? Get through the situation. I mean, because like I said, I don't know what it's like, but I'm pretty sure my mom is a good support system. You know, so, uh, y'all, I'm just trying to sit here and think to myself on this Wednesday talk. What else do I need to talk about? I guess nothing. Well, as RuPaul say, how in the hell, if you don't love yourself, how in the hell can somebody else love you? So, I just want to say that. Uh, love yourself. Your, love yourself worth. Don't let nobody drag you down. Remember, you matter. You matters. Nothing else. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and click that notification bell. Bye, guys.